sustainability, of course, in, in broad terms, is to provide for current and future residents of a building or a city the highest possible quality of life as long as you can do so without diminishing future generations' opportunity to have the same or better quality of life. The Wholesome Foundation Award is really the premier design award for sustainable building. We always look to European countries for setting the standard for pushing designers and industry towards better practices. And so I think to receive the award for an American project is really important. I think what drew us mainly to the awards um, was the challenge of having this building recognized as a sustainable building because it is not maybe perfect candidate for that. We're building in a very niche environment for archaeology and we just wanted to show the relevance of still using a building like this, applying new ideas of sustainability in today's challenges. Winning the Holcim Foundation Award really helped us convince the people that had to make the decision of continuing its construction about the benefits of the project. This is not a project trying to bring solution to a specific location, but really is trying to answer the common problems that we are facing all over the world. The Wholesome Foundation recognized these values of the project and it really reinforces our ideas and our efforts. It's one of those awards that is grounded in sustainability. And that's something we felt was very important uh, in today's context. We wanted to share our ideas with a larger audience. It should be replicated and scaled because I think it needs to benefit the larger community and the larger cities and even the planet, basically. The award, it was like a great encouragement to keep trying to find the solutions in this strange encounter between engineering and architecture, urbanism, environmental design and social infrastructure. And an award like that can be used to shine the light on practitioners that are trying to maybe expand the understanding of what architecture is and what it can actually do in imagining our cities of the future.